up from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. So much better than a McDonald's breakfast sandwich. Shut the lights, go in front of rain. We can spend all day in bed. I get the wine and the corkscrew. You don't have to do one single thing. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you makes my whole world spin. to wake up yet oh, we can spend all day in bed i'll put the tv in the room we'll have a netflix marathon kg saxophone we'll order in a bunch of food i'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone Shut the lights, go in for a rain. Oh, we can spend all day in bed. Watch out, Mills. Time to get ready for the day. saxophone we'll order in a bunch of food i'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone shut the lights go in the front okay we can spend all day you okay oh, is that you we're we getting ready for the day we're gonna go go on an adventure mama are we gonna go go <laughs> ready for the day let's get out of here hey guys good morning I've just been like doing lots of like chores around the house picking up cleaning up but Nora and I need to get out of the house today it has been so cold all week and we haven't gotten outside a lot which is really hard for the kids so we're a little bit stir crazy I also changed into like some workout wear like I have on leggings and a white t-shirt because I haven't gotten my workout in yet this morning I've been trying to do workouts early in the morning but the last two days in a row it's like I swear Nora knows whenever I try to get up earlier and her schedule just adjusts she knows mom's awake so she needs to wake up so so much for mommy's early morning workouts so I got to squeeze one of those in later this afternoon when we get home when she goes down for a nap so we're gonna go on a little adventure this morning being new to the Texas area one thing I haven't tried out yet is Dutch Bros coffee we haven't had coffee yet this morning I had a protein shake when I first woke up and then you guys kind of saw I made a breakfast sandwich for breakfast Nora had eggs I had made eggs for both of us as well as an English muffin on the side and some fruit but no coffee yet this morning so we need to go get coffee. But I thought for fun, since we need to get out and about anyway, let's go try Dutch Bros Coffee. I think it started in Colorado. Col correct me if I'm wrong in the comments if you guys know. But it's been spreading around in Texas, and there's a lot of them in the Houston area. The closest one to me is like 20 minutes away, so we haven't tried it yet, but we needed to get out of the house for a while anyway today. So I thought, let's go on a little road trip adventure, go get a Dutch Bros Coffee. Then maybe I can find a park for Nora to go play it for a while. I do need to swing into the grocery store for like a couple odds and ends. Just that I need for dinner tonight. I'm not doing a huge grocery haul today because I need to plan out my meal plan for the next week. You guys seem to really like that last video I did with a grocery haul and meal plan attached. So I'm going to film one of those this weekend for next week. Let us see where adventure takes us. 
Okay, Nora fell asleep in the car on the way here, so I literally just pulled off and parked for a little while to let her get a little car nap in because I was too far from home to go back and put her down for a full nap, so it might be a day of mini naps for her. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, it did give me time though. I like parked next door to Dutch Bros and I looked up on TikTok like a ton of different options from Dutch Bros because I've never been before. They have a huge menu and I heard there's so many more options than are on their actual menu. So I did find one that sounds really, really good and I found one, I think that the points are gonna be a little bit lower on it than like a full, super sweet, heavy drink. It kind of reminds me of the oat milk shake and espressos, which I normally like from Starbucks, the flavor of, but this one suggests to get an iced banana bread oat milk latte with sugar-free hazelnut and soft top. They have a ton of sugar-free options at Dutch Bros, like a bunch of flavors of both syrups and sauces and drizzles for like caramel and stuff like that. I'm not super into sugar-free stuff, you guys know. Whenever I've tried it at home to make my own coffees with sugar-free syrups, I end up with a really upset stomach. So I try not to do too much sugar-free every now and then when I'm trying like a new fun flavor of coffee, I'll give it a roll because it's not too much in one drink um, and I'm not drinking it day after day, like if I'm making them constantly at home for myself. So. We're gonna try it. I cannot express to you how much I hope this tastes like banana bread. This is like a super long and winding line and I don't know where to order. It's very not busy though. I mean, it's like mid-morning. Am I the only one with enough social anxiety that like practices how they're gonna order coffee like 20 times before they order it when it's something special and new? It's okay, Nori, I'll see what they have for you too. Let's see if they have some sort of snack for her. Hi. Oh God, your pizza. Yes, can I do um, an iced banana bread oat milk latte with an extra shot of espresso, um, sugar-free hazelnut and soft top? Um, and then you guys have, so this is my first time at a Dutch Bros ever. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're new to the area, sorry, did I order that okay? Yeah, I wasn't no, like good. weird, but okay. No, can I do one of, do you guys have some of the muffin tops? Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Um, it's for my daughter. <laughs> I do one else. Okay. It's okay, boo boo. Oh, are you cold? It's okay. You want some muffin? Here you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay, babes. We got the goods. Let's go pull over and take a taste. All right, well, first off, can we talk about price? This is probably, this is a huge coffee. I just ordered their regular size. I didn't like specify a size. This is, I guess, whatever like their regular is. Um, and I got this whole coffee. They have muffin tops. This is a lemon poppy seed one. Um, I gave some to Nora for a snack. It was under $10. I feel like a coffee this size on its own would have been like 12 to $14 with all the customizations at Starbucks. So I ordered the iced banana bread oat milk latte with sugar-free hazelnut and soft top, which is like their version of cold foam. And then I also added an extra shot of espresso because I like to taste my coffee. Dutch Bros did not have a searchable menu through the WW app. So I kind of had to go in and total up all of the individual components of the drink for the espresso, the oat milk, the sugar-free syrups are gonna be zero. And then the half and half, which makes up the soft top. I'm calculating out about 12 points for this drink. So more than I was expecting, but at the same time, this is a much larger drink than I was also expecting. So in the future, I will switch it up, try to experiment with some different lower point options at Dutch Bros. This was a larger coffee than I would typically order. So I usually order the smaller size, but add up extra shots of espresso. So the caffeine content is still where I want it to be and the flavor of the coffee. Cause I just really like tasting coffee in my coffee. So that's what it looks like. Okay. I got this try to help for while I'm driving, but I want to be able to taste the soft top. Oh man. Oh, that's good. All right, well, I didn't need to be doing 20 minute away coffee runs daily. Whoo, that's good. A very Texas afternoon, heading into H-E-B. What are those? Crackers? 
crackers. Hey guys, so we are back from our adventures for the morning. Dutch Bros was really good. I don't know that I would obviously drive frequently 20 minutes there and back, nor was a little grumpy in the car. But as like a special treat, it was fun. They had tons of different flavors and I would definitely try something else. If you are from Texas or Colorado or anywhere else they have Dutch Bros and you have a favorite drink from there that you think I should try, please let me know in a comment below. I'd love to try out some of your guys' favorites. If you know WW points or calories, even better. So Nora and I ran into HEB on our way back. My plan was to get some steak I could slice up for the beef and broccoli dish I'm making for dinner tonight. I need to get some more whole milk for Nora. And I was just gonna get like some fruit to carry us through the weekend so I can do my big shop on Monday. But naturally, I cannot go into a grocery store and only come home with three things. It is impossible for me. So here is a super quick grocery haul for the weekend. I grabbed some fresh raspberries. Nora almost grabbed these herself. She wanted them so much. I washed off a quick handful for her now. She is sitting over there eating lunch. A pound of strawberries. I have one red onion. I have a bunch of lettuce and other fixings at home for um, some salad. So I'll have that for the weekend for lunch. I got some hard salami. The girls both like this to do for like little charcuterie kid platters for lunch. The mozzarella I grabbed to do with a specific dinner dish actually. They have these thin cut chicken breasts on sale at HEB today. I picked up two packages and I am going to make some chicken cutlets but instead of frying them, I'm gonna air fry them. We'll have them for dinner one night with some homemade zero point marinara sauce and then the mozzarella cheese on top. I might eat mine just like that with a big salad on the side. The kids might have some pasta with theirs. It kind of depends on how the rest of my day goes that day, whether I choose to have the pasta or just do the chicken. So that's gonna be dinner, I think on Sunday night. Here is the beef I picked up for Josh and I's dinner tonight. I love that it was pre-chopped as beef for stir fry. Most of the time, if I weren't making this tonight, I would have just bought a single like sirloin steak, something really basic. You can get a pretty inexpensive one because you're cutting it thin and marinating it. it doesn't have to be the most tender cut of meat. This just like cuts out a prep step for me, but I'm gonna marinate this and serve it with some white rice and steamed broccoli for Josh and I. Since Josh and I are having that for dinner, I'm actually gonna make the steamed broccoli and rice a little early and then serve that with some of the just bare frozen chicken nuggets we buy at Costco. I have them in my freezer. I'll serve those to the girls so they'll do chicken with rice and broccoli for their dinner tonight. And then just a handful of other things to make it through the weekend. I got a gallon of whole milk. We were completely out for Nora. I did pick up some unsweetened vanilla almond milk because my Nespresso pods restock finally came in. I definitely like my double espressos and I make my own latte out of them. So I'll make a latte with almond milk and then just a tiny bit of my homemade creamer. That recipe I shared in my previous video, so I'll make sure to link it in the description box below. I grabbed a couple of strawberry Greek yogurt cups. That's Lila's favorite. A couple of the key lime. Those are Josh's fave. And some lemon sorbetto ones. That just sounded really good. And I have been loving doing Greek yogurt um, with some fruit. This would be really good with the raspberries as kind of like a healthy sweet dessert at night. And then for the kids, Nora is eating some of these with her lunch right now, but mini peanut butter crackers, some cinnamon applesauce. We go through this stuff like water in our house. My kids love <laughs> applesauce pouches. And then just some dry ranch seasoning mix. I need to get one of the large containers of ranch seasoning just so I can have it on hand. I feel like I keep buying these individual packets. But yeah, I got this and I'll mix it with some plain non-fat Greek yogurt to make more ranch dip for the weekend for with veggies or with salads. So super quick little grocery haul. Um, I talked about dinner tonight, tonight's Friday. And then our Sunday night dinner, we're gonna do family dinner and do this chicken cutlets. Saturday is kind of up in the air. Josh actually has to work on Saturday, so we're gonna kind of just like take it as it comes. He might pick up pizza on the way home, or maybe I'll take the kids out for dinner if we're looking for something to do. So we'll just kind of see how it goes. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm gonna get it, Mills. I'm gonna get it. Ready? Go get it, Mills. We're running all our energy out. Good girl, Millie. Hi, Lila. Lila's home from school. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Oh, you ready? Ready? You want to throw one for her? Bring it to Lila. Good. Go oh, Millie. good throw, Lila. Oh, you tricked her. Come on, Moo. Oh, what do you have? What do you have? A leaf. Leaves and acorns. 
enjoying some fresh air, getting some energy out after school. Careful, she threw the ball at me. All right, anyway, okay, we're gonna play and we will see you guys a little later when I make dinner. Happy hungry kids are eating after some good time playing outside. I'm a little behind on all the house stuff I wanted to get done today because Nora really didn't end up napping very much at all since she took that little like cat nap in the car. So I am gonna go ahead and get that fruit prepped that we picked up today at the grocery store, but I'm gonna have to wait until um, I get them down for bed to get my workout in. Josh hasn't called me yet, which means he might be a little bit late tonight. Since changing jobs and moving to Texas, he's home almost always for dinner and bedtime with the kids, but there's still gonna be a couple times a year that he has late. My phone just rang. That's probably him saying he's on his way. There's still a few times a year though where he'll have one or two weeks in a row with late nights and I'm on my own. Anyway, while they're sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and get those few things prepped around the kitchen, including Josh and I's dinner tonight. I already steamed the broccoli and I'll just reheat it for us because the kids are eating some too. Um, so I have broccoli steamed already. I gotta make the rice and I need to make the marinade and get the beef marinating. So that's kind of what I'm gonna get started on. I'll wait and make the rice closer to when he and I are gonna eat because we'll probably wait, get the kids down and then sit and have dinner together. So I emptied and reloaded the dishwasher. So at least I have an empty sink to work with. I'm just spraying with some white distilled vinegar. I'm gonna let that sit for just a minute to sanitize. Once that's done, I just have some cool water. Do a rinse. And then I'm gonna fill my basin with cool water and about a quarter cup hefty splash of distilled white vinegar. And I'm gonna start with the raspberries, which are really delicate. So I'm gonna put my colander in the water and then pour the berries directly in. Just give those a little rinse. For storage, I just lined a glass bowl with a paper towel so it can help collect moisture. And I'll pop them in the fridge like that. Strawberries. Throwing straight in the pool. And soak for just a minute in that solution. And then I'm just gonna let these sit in this colander until they're dry, and then I'll put them in one of my fruit storage bins. Dry fruit is the key to happy fruit that lasts all the way up until you're finished eating it in the fridge. I've noticed time and time again, anytime I get like a little bit lazy and don't prep my fruit the same day I buy it, all of a sudden I lose it early and it'll get mold or mushy or bruised or whatever. When you have fruit toddlers and fruit kids like I do, fruit's expensive so it's worth it to prep it well so it lasts as long as possible and you get to eat it all. While kids are down, Josh is stuck in some really bad traffic so he's still not home yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get our beef marinating for our beef and broccoli we're doing for dinner. It needs 15 minutes to marinate which is perfect because then I'll have a 15 minute window where I can go get my rebounder workout in. So I got this pack of stir fried beef at AGB earlier I showed you guys in the haul. This is nice because it's already pre-sliced but I'm popping that right into our bowl. So this marinade is really just how we're gonna make our beef nice and tender. We got like a nice hefty tablespoon of cornstarch and I'm using what I got at home So this is a salt regular pepper and garlic blend But if you want to be fancy and get more of that authentic Chinese takeout flavor um, Try and pick up some white pepper and I forgot to when I was at the store earlier Give it a little bit of coat make sure it gets all over the meat Just get in there with your hands. Let's be honest. That's a lot easier than a spoon the cornstarch helps to tenderize the meat and it's also gonna help give it kind of like that chewy, glazy coating when we add our sauce to it in a little bit. And I'm just gonna set that aside for about 15 minutes. And our workout while we marinade. All right, guys, if you are someone who just started on your rebounder, keep at it. I am getting so much more stamina built up. It has taken me, let's see, I think I'm on, like, what's today's date? I started on the first, so 18 days in. 
I've built myself up to 15 minutes a day on it. I can sometimes follow workouts that I find on YouTube. Other times I just turn on a show. I've been watching Friends from the beginning recently and I just bounce for an episode. You know, I get off when I need to and walk for like a minute and then get back on. But I've also started stretching beforehand. That's really helped out with any soreness that I've had or stiffness in my knees. And I'm really enjoying it. It's something fun to do. Let's go back and finish making dinner. I boiled one cup of plain white jasmine rice. And while that was cooking, I sprayed our beef with a little bit of avocado oil spray and put it in my air fryer in a single layer to brown and crisp at 400 degrees. This took about eight minutes for these thin slices. For the sauce, I combined a third cup of low sodium soy sauce, half a teaspoon of ground ginger. You can use a teaspoon of fresh if you have it a heaping tablespoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of light brown sugar, two teaspoons of sesame oil, season with salt, black pepper, garlic. I stirred all of that together and then I combined half a cup of hot water with one tablespoon of cornstarch to make a thickening slurry. Add that into the sauce mixture, give it a good stir and then let it come to a low simmer so it thickens into that glazy sauce that we're gonna put all over our beef. Once it's ready, I added in our steamed broccoli that I made earlier for the kids, our beef strips, gave them a good toss to coat. Our steamed white rice was done and I plated everything up for a delicious and healthy at home Chinese takeout version of beef and broccoli. I'm ending my evening tonight with a nice warm bath. I am still working on my five pillars of health you guys have seen me track along my nutrition for the day, as well as my movement. Sleep I've been doing pretty good on, even though Nora has woken up a little bit earlier each day. I've still been getting nearly eight hours. My bath will help towards my stress management, as well as my mindset. Thank you guys so much for joining me on a little day in my life. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. And until then, bye. I never